What is going on YouTube, The Assist Man? And I'm coming back at you guys with another one of those Neverwinter gameplays from the Xbox One. One of those dungeon clearing moments without a healer or a tank. You see, I put up a video a couple weeks ago on my channel and I showcased my team playing the Pirate's Lair and doing it without a healer or a tank. You see, for a lot of new players, they think that even dungeons as easy as the pirate's lair, you need you still need a healer or a tank. And they will sit there and they will kick people until they get a healer or a tank, thinking that they need a healer or a tank in order to run the dungeon. Now, pirate's lair is by far the easiest dungeon in the game. Even though it's a tier two dungeon, I actually think it's easier than some of the tier one dungeons. I don't understand why it's a tier two dungeon, but it is extremely easy. And if you're just a good player and you're teamed up with other good players, you could pretty much clear out Pirate's Lair without a healer or without a tank. And most of the time you can do it probably within 15 minutes, 20 minutes max. So, people though said, oh, Pirate's Lair is too easy. I bet you can't do Spell Plague without a healer or a tank. I bet you can't do Castle Never without a healer or a tank. I bet you can't do epic layers of Lost Mouth without a tank or a healer. Well, I've done them all. We have done them all without a tank and without a healer. With the same group of people you're seeing right here. This is my team. These are the guys from my guild. And that is me, the Red Dragon. I'm a control wizard, spellstorm mage, renegade path. Stella, who is a scourge warlock. Slutopotamus, who is another control wizard, uh, Renegade Path, Spellstorm Mage, H187, which is my man, the Six Leaf Col Clover, Homicide, who is a Hunter Ranger, and my man, EY10, whose name is The Beast on here, who is a Scourge Warlock. And we have beat every single dungeon, every single skirmish, pretty much in the game, doing so without the need of a tank or of a healer. All you need is just five good players, five good players that know how to play their class and know how to work together as a team you see that's what this game is all about and a lot of players don't understand that this game is all about team synergy and doing things to help your teammates out as in maybe some of the buffs and debuffs you run as in some of the the powers you run to help give more damage to your teammates or to damage the enemies more, take away some of their defenses. It's all about having great team synergy and actually helping your team. Once you establish yourself and know that you're a good player and you know what to do in the game and you team up with a whole bunch of other good players that know what to do and the main part is they know how to play their class. Things are a cakewalk. You can see that first boss we just beat we like destroyed that thing in just a few minutes. Now this is the second boss of the dungeon. I cut out all the in-between stuff of the dungeon more or less because you know, this entire dungeon run took us 55 minutes to do. And I'm not gonna go ahead and sit there and put up a 55 minute long YouTube video over one dungeon. So I cut out all the in-between parts. I brought to you the entire boss fight of the first boss. Now this is the entire boss fight of the second boss. And look how fast this dude is going down. He's dropping like a fly. Boom. Done. Killed in like 30 to 45 seconds. It was just ridiculous. And this is without a tank. This is without a healer. Now granted, me and the other control wizard are both running the renegade path. So we can proc something called Chaotic Growth, which will pretty much heal us for about 10 seconds. And then once that is proc'd, we just get healed up by that. And obviously you have health potions. Now I'm not going to sit here and say that we didn't die throughout the dungeon. Yeah, we died. All of us died a, a couple times, you know. Some of it was due to, you know, we actually just died. The enemies got the best of us. And a lot of it was due to the extreme lag in this game, constant disconnects and frame rate drop that the game offers to us right now. Because the game is just like freaking broken. I don't understand how they don't know how to fix it. And you're constantly lagging. You're constantly having crazy frame rate drop. You're constantly freezing. And you're constantly disconnecting. So that will cause you to have the occasional couple of deaths in the game. But for the most part, we died a few times each. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. 
but we completed the entire dungeon. Spellplay Caverns, one of the toughest dungeons in here, and probably one of the toughest bosses in the game without a healer or a tank. And when we get to this last boss right here, I'm going to show you guys the absolute easiest way of doing this. Now, this primarily only works if you have at least one, but you'd want to have two good control wizards. But if you don't have one or two good control wizards and you have maybe some great weapon fighters, they could substitute as well. But it's always good to have one or two control wizards on your team just for the amount of crowd controlling and area of effect damage that they can do. And once again, man, shout out to my team, shout out to my guild. Uh, with the exception of the Beast, which is my man, EY10. I'm sure you guys heard me talk about EY10, my boy Eddie, and a whole bunch of other videos before in the past from Call of Duty. He's one of my best friends, and I've known him for forever. But with the exception of him, the other three guys, Stella, Slutopotamus, and H187, we met these guys on Neverwinter about a month ago, teamed up and played together every single night, and we formed an amazingly great team. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just speed this part up right here. So this is like 10 times normal speed. This is just showing you guys some of the in-between dungeon clearing that is in the game when you're not fighting a boss. Because normally this would take, you know, a good 10, 15 minutes of just killing all these things. But instead, I, go, I went ahead and sped it up quite a lot. So you could just see some of that stuff as well. But this dungeon, you know, don't get me wrong, this dungeon is hard. This dungeon is one of the harder dungeons in the game. But it's not ridiculously hard. I mean, I don't think any of the dungeons in this game are really ridiculously hard. Most of them are just ridiculously time consuming. Most of them just take a really, really long time to do. So now I'm about to show you guys the entire boss fight when we finally make it to the Abolith Overseer. And I'm going to show you guys the entire, the entire thing in its entirety. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because the entire boss fight took like 13 minutes. So instead of it like being 13 minutes, I'm just going to speed it up double time. So it's only going to be about like five minutes long, but it ain't going to be too sped up. So you guys can A, actually see the best way of beating this boss and B, see how easy it is. Once again, like I said, when you have team synergy and no healer and no tank, we did this with two control wizards, two scourge warlocks and one hunter ranger. And in case you're wondering about gear scores, my gear score at the time we were doing this was about 14,000. Stella's gear score around the time of doing this was only around 10,000. Slutopotamus's gear score about the time of doing this, I believe, was around 11.3 thousand. Uh, H187 Homicide's gear score was around, I believe, 13,000. And the Beast, his gear score was around 11,000. So there wasn't any like crazy gear scored players in here as well. There's not five of us that are all running around with, you know, 16, 17, 18,000 plus gear scores doing this. Most of these guys, including me, we have, you know, pretty low gear scores. I've seen tons and tons of other players with higher gear scores. But for the most part, the way we like to do it, if you can't see already, is have both of the control wizards inside the middle. And what the control wizard's job are is just to control all the ads. Freeze them, daze them, area of effect them, kill all the ads, make sure they go ahead and aggro all the ads so the other three players can just focus on killing the boss. So that's what me and Sled Eponymous are doing right now. Now, for instance, if you have a team that does not have two control wizards, I would hope you have a team that at least has one control wizard because a control wizard is a very, very important part of any team in this game. It helps out tremendously, especially when you get a control wizard that is good and that knows how to play its class. But for instance, if you didn't have one control wizard, you could substitute, like I said before, a, a great weapon fighter who can actually do AOE attacks as well. So you could have one control wizard and one great weapon fighter in the middle, just aggroing all the ads and killing all the ads and controlling all the ads. Now, if you don't have any control wizards, then hopefully you have maybe two great weapon fighters or maybe a Scourge Warlock, somebody in the middle that can help do crowd control and killing all the adds to keep all the adds aggroed on them and not aggroed on the other three players that are actually going ahead and putting in work on the boss. Because it's all about having the other three players basically be untouched by aggro and by ads this way they can focus all their powers and focus all their time and focus all of their attention on just the boss to take down the boss as fast as possible but no matter how you know much you do this boss still has a ton of health points and it takes a while to take down now i'm sure when all five of us have like twenty thousand gear scores and we we we, we uh, i can't even speak we revisit this dungeon at another later time when we all have like twenty thousand gear scores I'm sure that we can beat this boss way faster than we're doing now. 
but we still beat this boss really fast. I mean, this is a really fast time. Oh, and did I remind you guys, we did this with no tank and no healer, and here's the most important thing. We didn't wipe once on this boss. So we didn't die once on this boss. This is the only original and full run you're seeing of us actually fighting the Abolith Overseer. We didn't wipe once. I think I was the only person that died, and I died at the very end when the boss had like an inch of health left and one of my teammates brought me back to life. So the moral of this story is that to complete any dungeon in this game, you do not need a tank and you do not need a healer. Now, is having a tank awesome? Absolutely. Is having a tank awesome? Absolutely. Especially when you get a tank that knows how to play its class, that's a good tank. When you get a healer that actually knows how to heal, that knows how to debuff the enemies, that knows how to buff the party. Those things are worth their weight in gold, but unfortunately a lot of players in this game that are tanks don't know how to really tank and don't know how to really help the team. And a lot of players in this game that are healers, unfortunately don't know how to actually correctly play their class and more or less hold back the team because you're substituting a damaged DPS class for a healer that's not even really helping you. But you don't need neither one. Like I said, it is good to have them. It makes things run more smoother. It makes things run more easier, I guess you could say. Maybe you'll die a few less times than normal inside of the entire dungeon, but you don't need them. And the thing about this game is that the kicking that goes on in this shit, the kicking at the bosses, I can't begin to tell you how many times I enter public lobbies without my teams when I'm by myself. And no matter what dungeon I go ahead and queue up for, even, it's, even if it's Pirate's Lair, which is extremely easy, as soon as I enter the dungeon, I'll get kicked automatically just because the other four people in there are waiting for a tank or a healer. And if it's not the reason that I'm getting kicked, it's because there's another control wizard in there who wants to kick me because I'm another control wizard. And for some reason, 90% of the people that play this game, they won't play it with another one of the same class, which I don't know why, because especially having two control wizards is like really overpowered and can help you out tremendously. So I don't know why you, you would even vote to kick another control wizard because I know if I wasn't a control wizard and I had the opportunity to play with two control wizards, I would definitely do it. And the other small percentile of the time when people are actually getting kicked, it's because they don't want to go ahead and, and greed for the loot when the bosses drop loot. I mean, the loot is not even all that serious, man. You're going to get loot throughout the game, and it's all about helping one another. So if you're going to go ahead and kick somebody just to grab loot, that's ridiculous. So 90% of the time you get kicked is because people are waiting for a tank or waiting for a healer. 5% more of the time that you get kicked, people don't want to play with another type of the same class. And the other 5% of the time that people are getting kicked because people are greedy, and they actually don't want to go ahead and compete against loot with you. So anyway, you've seen the entirety of this video, you've seen it happen, you've seen it done with no healer, you've seen it done with no tank, and you've seen it done without a single wipe on the last boss. We didn't wipe once, That we only did it one time, and it was good to go. Now I'm going to show up the scoreboard here so you guys can see what happened as far as the scoreboard goes. These are the things I got out the chest, nothing extravagant. You can see... I did 18.6 million, Aqua Beef did 17.2 million, Homicide did 900, or whatever the hell it showed, like the thing went by too soon, but you get the gist of it. We did it with no tank, no healer, no kicking, none of that good stuff. Yeah, we went down a few times, but that's going to happen in any dungeon. So if you don't know, now you know. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, but I had to showcase all this stuff to you guys. And, you know, it was a 55-minute dungeon that I cut down into 14 minutes. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please go ahead and leave that thumbs up like. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about me so they could subscribe to my channel, view my videos, and then you can help a brother out. And if you happen, if you just so happen to be one of those people that made it to the very end of this video, I want you to type down in the comment section the word hippopotamus. And if you did, I'm just going to tell you I love you and appreciate you. So anyway, YouTube, this is The Assist Man, and like always, I am out.